final keyword in java now what is the final keyword so final keyword is one keyword with the help of which we can restrict our user from updating one variable one function or one class so let us go for further discussion the final keyword is used to restrict the user to update the variables functions and classes and final variables are like constants we cannot change the value of the variable after it is initialized so whenever we define one final variable it is actually behaving as a const type of that is a constant type of we cannot change the variable after initializing it and defining it as final when it is not initialized in the time of the declaration of the variable then it is called the blank final variable i can define one variable with the keyword final but if we don't initialize that one then it is known as blank final variable now what about with the method final keyword with the method a final method or function cannot be redefined or overridden we cannot inherit that one and then we cannot go for the in uh, again for the function overriding so function overriding is not possible after doing the inheritance in the base class to the derived class when the function will get inherited then in the derived class i cannot override the function again if if define the function the respective method with the final keyword in the base class the final class is restricted from extending so if we define one class as a final class so the final class cannot go for another time inheritance so extending is not possible we cannot create any child class from the final class so these are the different rules and regulations of the final keyword usage so let us go for one practical demonstration for the better understanding on this in this demonstration we shall discuss the keyword final at first we are showing you that how to define one final variable so it can be defined in this way final int variable name so in this way you can define a final variable so protected int my int and class a is the name of the class class a is the constructor so in this case so it is passing this x and y as input parameters so it is a parameter as constructor and fin integer there is a final integer is equal to x initialized for one time only through this constructor and this my int is having this y value so this is my non parameter as constructor here and it is calling the uh, parameter as constructor with the argument 0 and 0 so 0 will be assigned to x and 0 will be assigned to y here so here we are defining one final method there is a final public void display final so always remember this final method cannot be overwritten in the derived class so that is the one of the properties are there of this final method so final bub public void final so it is just printing the fin integer variables value and display my int you can find that this particular display my int is not of type final so that's why during inheritance in the in the derived class in the sub class this display my int can be overwritten here so it is having a single line to print next one is that final class class b whenever we are defining one class as a final that means the class cannot be extended further this particular class is the last class in the in the class hierarchy it cannot be extended further it cannot be treated as a base class for another class so that is the final keyword is there with the class so you can get this idea that final keyword with this integer can get updated can be initialized only once in the constructor we're having this final as a as a method final method so this method cannot be overwritten and this our final class so this class cannot be extended further so final class uh, class b extends class a and here we are defining another variable that is a my int and set my int is a one method which is taking this x as input and which is initializing this my int instance variable here within the class class b you can find that my display my int this method has got overridden because we are having the same prototype public void display my int this method has got inherited in this class b but in the class b we are having another declaration of public void my display my int so this is nothing but one overridden method this method can be overridden because this is not a final method so now it is having a single line of code 
to get printed. Now, if I want to try to override our display final, so if I write here public void, so display final. If I want to write this body, you are getting one error message and it is telling that cannot override the final method from class A. So that's why final method cannot be overridden. Okay, next. Here we are defining the class that is the keyword final containing the main function and class A C1A is equal to new class A 10, 15. So that means we are defining the object of this class and here we are passing this 10, 15. So 10 will be assigned to this fin integer and 15 will be assigned to this my int. So now we are going for the display final. It will print the final uh, variable and the display int. It will print the respective one. So it will go on printing this 10 and 15 accordingly. So the value of the final variable has got initialized with the 10. For the first time and the last time, the final variable has got updated and value of my int is 15 here. We are defining another object that is a C1B and is equal to new class B. This is another object we are defining, but it is under the class B. That means this one. And then C1B dot set my int 50. So what will happen? You can find that this 50 has been assigned and then display my int. It is printing the value 50 here. So in this way, you can find that this particular uh, this particular display int is printing the value of uh, this int as 50. Here we are having my int is a respective value which has got printed here. So I think now the conception is getting clear that what is the purpose of this final keyword with a variable, with a method and with a class. Thanks for watching this video.